Okay, in this part, you will learn how to use the so demo software of UR3100 UHF validators, and there are two demos based on different language, C Sharp and Daffy. And if you use Daffy, it's very simple. Just click, click, and choose this one. And just how to connect to the port, and you will see the interfaces. The first interface is uh, the reader configuration part, and the second are the basic read functions, and the third part is buffer testing. So it because it has it has uh, buffers uh, tag buffers, so you can install certain text information offline okay and this the other functions uh, i think you may not uh, not used so this is uh, this Delphi software and um, that's of Delphi software has some liberty functions so i do not recommend you to use Delphi, and but more recommend you to use the c sharp Shift C sharp two demos. The V one point eleven is the latest. So open this demo, and just click. Just find the demo in Bing X. Okay, released, and you find this demo and double click. Sometimes when you click the demo, that uh, the windows will require you to install some. Framework such as a .NET framework, so just to allow the uh, system how to install the how to install and it be okay. So after install, you will open this demo, and in this demo there were firstly you need to choose choose the com port. It's not altered. Uh, for the com port, you need to go to the PC drive to PC device manager. And to check the compost. Yes. You you if you find this one, Silicon Labs CP two one zero X USB to other drive bridge, and you will find it is COM three. Then you just uh, use the COM three port and click connect. No need to revise the bundle rate. So click connect. Okay. So in this interfaces, this is a reader's configuration interface, and this is a text operation interfaces, inventory, a buffer model, and read write text model. Okay. So we just go to the configuration modules. So firstly, you can see that is a firmware version, and on and close, open and close the bips. For example, if I choose, for example, if I just using an F text, R5 text on the readers, if I just click on and click set, when I just inventory the text, for example. Do you hear the bips? Yeah. Okay, so I can just if you don't like beeps, just click the close set. Hmm? Here, let's let's start again. No beep already. Okay. This the beep functions, and you can also check the uh, check this. Uh, frequency band for the EU and the US normally have uh, these two band and currently we use the US band and also connect set okay and power this power can be adjusted from 0 to uh, 26 dBm the maximum the dBm the further resistance uh, further the read re distance and for UR 21 Hundred UHF alpha readers. The maximum read distance is one meters. So if you are in writing progress, you just set as ten dB and that's okay, and click set. 
and these are two, three, two, and four, eight, five boundary rate setting. Normally, not normally you don't need to keep it; just to keep it at default, and it'll be okay. And GPIO operations, and GPIO operations in the pin, pin eight and pin, pin eight and pin nine. Uh, pin seven and pin eight, and it will just uh, output a uh, high level, high level, uh, high level to the other devices. For example, if you have, if you got some LEDs, or uh, LEDs, you will just uh, trigger the I'll give L uh, 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 give LED the signals. So LED can trig can just uh, switch the switch the light. For example, green or red by this、uh, GPU out information, so it can it can just trigger. Have it will just、uh, output the trigger com trigger signal here, and and seven eight also can can configure it as weekend output. So if you so this part in this part you will see that you it has some. Options for Wigan. So here is Wigan, and because he has already configured it as as Wigan outputs, so the GPIO is GPIO operation here is disabled. So, you know, so it will just open just to con conduct that Wigan in the outputs. Okay. So this so these are four options here. Standard model. Weekend TID, Weekend EPC one and EPC EPC two, standard model are just a USB and RS two three two model in our communication, and Weekend TID, and the following three are all based on Weekend interfaces, just connected to D zero and D one to the access controller and it will out to outputs the ID there, but. And ID because you know the RFI text has three different memories TID EPC, so this is TID output six T six hex TID, and this one and we get EPC EPC one, this is output the first first six hex, and this EPC two is output the last EPCs, so. Choose the relevant IDs you want to output and click set, and you will be okay. So, when you when all the configuration has been set, so when uh when uh when connect to reader next time, the configuration will be as what you set currently. Okay. Okay. Now in next part we are uh I will show you the. Basic functions of inventory, read and write text. Okay, thanks for watching.